is up guys welcome back to the channel this is dr hamastek so today we're going to do a speed ram temperature and benchmark test and today we have here first one is the galaxy s21 ultra rocking that exynos 2100 12 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage and over here on the side we have the note 20 ultra rocking that exynos 990 12 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage so in the first part here we are going to test out the temperatures of both of these phones 34.4 34.4 so both of them are set at the same temperature so let's boot these two phones up also on both of these phones the battery is set at 100 percent and let's see which one does start up earlier this is going to be a very interesting seeing how much of an improvement the exynos 2100 is and also how much the exynos 990 has improved over the past year with some updates So it looks like the Note 20 Ultra has started out with the S21 Ultra just right behind it. Okay, now let's see which one does start up faster. Let's go to the calendar page and see which one does load up faster. Alright, looks like the Note 20 Ultra is performing better compared to the S21 Ultra. Like I mentioned, the Note 20 Ultra has received multiple updates since its first release. And over here on the S21 Ultra, it's just in this first month. Let's check out the temperatures. 36.1 and 36.1. The Wi-Fi has been connected to the same one on both of these phones and also the location is on for the apps that we are using. As you can see here, all apps have been closed on both of these phones before this test will start. So let's go to the first one, S49. Alright, looks like the S21 Ultra does have a slight lead over the Note 20 Ultra. Alright, let's see which one goes faster. Looks like the Note 20 Ultra actually started earlier. Very interesting results. Let's go to the next app, Pokemon Go. Pretty neck and neck on both of these phones. All right, looks like the S21 Ultra is ahead with the Note 20 Ultra just behind it. Very, very impressive performance. Let's go to the next app. Let's go to the next app, YouTube. Very similar on both phones. I think the Note 20 just slightly edges it. Next one here, Instagram. About the same on both phones. Let's go to another big app over here, PUBG Mobile. Alright, looks like the S21 just a slightly over the Note 20 Ultra. Alright, S21 very fast indeed, already right into the game while the Note 20 Ultra is a few seconds behind. All right, now let's check out those temperatures. 36.2, 36.3. Just to remind you guys, the room temperature that we're in is at 30.4. Let's go to the next app, Chrome. About the same on both of these phones. Let's go to Facebook. About the same on both of these phones. Let's go to Shopee. Slightly faster on the S21. Let's go to YouTube Music. Yes, about the same on both these phones. Very impressive. Let's go to Settings. Again, about the same. Very good results. Let's go to Manchester United. Disappointing 3 3 draw. We go ahead, GGMU. And looks like the S21 Ultra was just slightly ahead. Looks like the S21 Ultra is just slightly ahead. Premier League. Slightly faster on the S21. Let's go to Netflix. Just slightly again on the S21. Let's go to the camera app. 
das Testo. I think the Note, I think the Note 20 Ultra is slightly faster compared to the S21. TikTok looks like both are very very fast again. Let's go to the next one, Adobe. Faster on the Note 20 Ultra. Twitter again very very fast on both phones. Play Store. Again, both giving you very similar results. So let's test out those temperatures. 36.5, 36.7. So very, very good results from both of these phones. So as you can see here, the Exynos 990 has improved significantly on the Note 20 Ultra over the past few months with multiple updates. It's very, very good and it's very similar to what I would say a Snapdragon 865 would be. So now let's check out those RAM. All right, both are running very smoothly. Let's check out YouTube. Again, both are running very well. YouTube Music, again, very fast, very good. PUBG. So RAM on both of these phones are amazing. Let's go to Manchester United. Again, very, very good results on both of these phones. Short gigs of RAM does really help a lot. Let's go to Twitter. As you can see there, both are doing very, very well. Let's check out, let's check out the temperature one more time again. 36.8, 37. So very, very small difference in terms of temperature. Very, very impressive performance from both of these phones. So now we'll be doing a Geekbench on both of these phones. So I'll be closing up every app behind, opening this one up. So as you can see here, it's running 4 cores 2.2 compared to the 4 cores 2 hertz on the Exynos 990. So we're going to see if there is any improvement in terms of the benchmark test over here. So again, we're going to start the temperatures. 36.7, 37. So let's run this benchmark test and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So now we are at the halfway mark and as you can see here, 53% compared to the 51 on the Note 20 Ultra. The battery over here is 97 and 97, so it's very similar. Let's check out the temperatures. 36.9, 37.3. So it looks like the S21 Ultra is doing slightly better when it comes to the temperature. So now we are going towards the end of the results over here. As you can see here, the S21 Ultra with an 800 score and a 3200 multi-core score, it finishes much faster compared to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's check out the temperatures. 37.6, so yes, definitely hotter with that benchmark test. The battery is at 96%. So now let's give some time for the Note 20 Ultra to finish. And yes, it has finally finished at 100%. Let's check out the scores. 660 single core and 2625 multi-core score. So you can see there, there is a bit of a difference. And let's check out the temperature. 38.3. So a little bit higher compared to the S21 Ultra. But overall, I gotta say that both phones with the Exynos chipset has been improved significantly. Of course, this one, like I mentioned, is in its first month of its updates. So yes, with constant money updates, the performance on this, I expect for this to improve. So yes, thumbs up to Samsung on that. So if you find this video helpful and you did enjoy it, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hamas Tech. So that is it. This is Dr. Hamas Tech. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.